Hi there, it's Eileen and welcome to the hearts. For today's video, I'm gonna share with you three summer DIY projects and I cannot wait to show you how I made this. So let's get started. For our first DIY, these are the materials that we will be using. I got the placemat at Walmart for $1.96 and the board that I'm using is from 4th of July board. I painted it but you don't need to paint it because you will cover it with the placemat. And here I am marking, I am tracing the board on the placemat and there are excess marker on the placemat so I'm removing it with a wet towel. And then after that, I use wood glue to attach the placemat on the board. I don't recommend using hot glue for this project. Um, this wood glue works so great. I just make sure to put a lot of wood glue on it and it works great. Then after that, I also attached the word home. I got the home sign at Dollar Tree. I use this gel super glue that I've got from Dollar Tree. I love super gel because it's very forgiving and it's so gentle to use. Yeah, and then uh, make sure to put pressure before, just put pressure on it and voila. And here I am using the burlap ribbons that I've got from Dollar Tree. I'm just making a simple bow and I attach it on our board. I'm trying to find something like yellow ribbons on my craft stash but I can't find any. So, And this burlap ribbons works great. I love how it looks. And after I attach the ribbon, I grab my wood beads that i've got from amazon and this wired jute twine that i've got from dollar tree i just put beads on it and that will be the handle of this project i just hot glue it and we're done for this diy Then, tada! You have your first DIY project for the summer! And let's proceed to DIY number two. For our second DIY, I will paint this tray that I've, I've got from Dollar Tree using the rust -Oleum chalk paint. Here, I am painting it for the first coat and it looks like this. Um, I cannot wait for it to dry so I use the hair dryer. And after that, I gave it, I gave the second coat and again, the hair dryer is very helpful on this project and I gave it three coats and for the three coats, third coat, I dubbed the paint like this because I like to have a texture on, on the tray and I really love how it turned out. Now that it is dry, I have these stickers that I've got from Dollar Tree and I'm going to use it as a stencil. I'm cutting those letters. I think this technique, I, I, I'm not gonna take any credit on this technique because I saw it on YouTube. I think Heidi did it. Yeah, um, I don't remember who did it but this is a great technique if you don't have a machine or <laughs> and you can reuse this you can reuse this stencil again yeah so i just stick it on my tray i made sure that i put it so good and then i'm using this king's gold make sure that your stencil is sticking on the tray so good and i just painted it lightly just take your time so that it will not gonna overlap on your tray and again thanks for supporting my channel 
if you are new here i'm so happy you are here and you are welcome please introduce yourself on the comment because i like to say hi back to you yeah and let me know what do you think of this project and don't forget to give me a big thumbs up because it helped my channel to grow more yeah thank you so much and here on the screen i am touching up the paint that came off using the chalk white chalk paint and after that you can also use you can still use this stencil i'm keeping it i just put it back again on the stickers paper and we have this stencil a floral stencil that i've got from dollar tree i will be using it i just painted it around the board using this metallic acrylic paint metallic gold acrylic paint and it's a good touch for this summer decor and that's it for this DIY number two. Oh, and I also used the king's gold to put put it around the board. And I also distressed the board using the burnt amber so that it gives a farmhouse look or a rustic look. And then after this, I added more floral stencil because I feel like it needs more. And it looks like this and here's another option you can add some nautical rope like this and i really love it i just hot glue it and before i proceed to diy number three i'm joining heidi sunball this is an open invite challenge the theme is summer or coastal and it's fun please visit our channel and we also have playlist i will put it on the description box below for sure you're gonna love heidi she's very talented yeah, so let's proceed to DIY number 3. I grabbed this handy tab at Dollar Tree and I also have this silver spray paint that I've got from Walmart. First, I poke some holes at the bottom part of the tub and then I went out to spray paint it with the silver spray paint. And then once it is dry, I went back inside and grabbed some black black pewter gray and white acrylic paint i will give the top like a galvanized look so this is how i did it i thought my arms were gonna fall off because the top is a little bit big so but no it was easy i'm so surprised i just dubbed the pewter gray around the top and after that i added some black paint i just dub it randomly and after the black paint, I also added the white acrylic paint. Then after dubbing and painting, here I am on my craft table pouring some potting soil it's so messy but it's worth it and i also have this tupperware that i've got from our kitchen <laughs> in the kitchen you can buy some tupperware at dollar tree and i also have this water pump that i've got from amazon you can see the link on the description box below and i'm planting some plants that i've got from my yard yeah if i have a free time i you can find me doing some yard work and yeah i added more plants and do not put the water pump yet after planting because here's what happened <laughs> so take note take note of that and i also added some rocks and stones and I also added some Spanish moss to cover the Tupperware. And I have some fairies 
that I have on hand I just added it and it looks so magical and I also added some sticks that I've got in our backyard <laughs> I added that because I have a plan I'm going to put some fairy lights oh my god it's really beautiful I love this project so much yeah and I added more fairies yeah and that's it for this DIY Then, tada! You have this spot with water feature, and I really love the sound of the water. And I also added this fairy lights. It's color blue, and it's really cute. Yeah, so that's it for this DIY, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you do, give me a big thumbs up, and don't forget to visit Heidi and check out our playlist on the description box below. And if you are not subscribed yet, please subscribe and give me a big thumbs up. And let me know on the comment below what's your favorite. Thanks again for watching and God bless you. See you on my next DIY. Bye-bye.